Listen to Dead Heads, baby. I've never felt so alive in my life. My name's Cody Black, and when you see me, I'm In this studio, looking at a guy out here, yeah. hollering my name. It's Go ahead, me, baby, let's go. When I see you, I spend more money on spilling. You're going to have to fucking kill me. We're live and we're going. You ready for another week of Duh Heads? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm, I've, I was born ready, dude. I've been ready. All right, so we're going to... Let's play it. We're just going to hop right into it, dude. Let's go. Oh, wait. Why is it not playing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, I got to turn the volume up. All right. Hell yeah. Kickstart engage. Let's go. Oh, shit. Yo. Let's get it. So dreamy. Yes, I like this so far. Sticking out your gap for the Rizzler. It's 2024. Yeah. You're so phantom tax. I just want to be your safe. Are you ready, dude? <laughs> You're so high. You're your so high. stoned. Maybe. Sticking out your gap for the Rizzler. <laughs> You're so You're what? skibbity. You're so phantom tax. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it's a real thing. Yeah, Love it's it. for the little kids, not for Gen Alpha. Dude, I, I I came here, I walk into the, your garage, you're working on your car, and you just look fucking <laughs> blasted, dude. <laughs> you look fucking blasted. Oh, <laughs> it's been a rough week with the car. Yeah, dude. Everything's I, I fucking, broken. I dude. fucking feel you, dude. Yeah. Um, yeah, you were just telling me your fucking car broke down again. Cars are breaking. I was like, I'm just going to go let off some steam and go ride my dirt bike. And then I crashed. Yeah, you crashed your dirt bike. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Everything is hard for you right now. Holy spirit, activate. Oh, help yeah, me. dude, help him, help dude. Me. Help Look, him, come get it. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, this week's been fucking crazy, man. It's been a... I've been... I've had something I wanted to talk to you about the last couple of days. Uh, have you seen fucking uh, Burt Kreischer and Tom Segura's uh, Dos Osos? Dude. <laughs> I saw the clip of them, like, crash the Pat McAfee show. It's so oh my cringy, God. right, dude? <laughs> People won't stop talking about dude, it. Dude, oh it my is God, it's so bad. fucking bad. Oh. <laughs> that sounds like you like that one? That sounds like yeah, Black Yeah, dude. No, yeah, uh... They're trying to get like CJ Stroud to drink and stuff. And, and he's Pat like, he's like an alcoholic. And he's like, you know, it's 11 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, he's yeah. He's like, he's a Christian. No, he's a Christian. He doesn't drink. Dude, and CJ that Stroud. show's recorded on the East Coast. Yeah. That means it's super early for Bert because they were. Yeah, Texas Bert was now. hammered, dude. He's yeah. hammered on it. Tom, it was so weird because like you would think that. So for the listeners who don't know what's going on. Burt Kreischer and Tom Segura uh, came out with a new vodka, their newest fucking grift. And they go on, it's Super Bowl week. It's called okay? Los Osos Vodka? No, it's it's called, that, Los Osos is a high school out here, actually, which is very funny. Oh, that's it's, called, <laughs> it's, it's called Dos Osos. How is that not a tequila? So two, two bears. That's what Oso, an Oso is a bear in Spanish. Okay. So, um, anyways, thanks for interrupting me. So... <laughs> You're welcome. Anytime. So, <laughs> Homo males. Are- <laughs> so, okay. Baby. Okay. So, um, so anyways, so it's Super Bowl week, uh, and they're on the Pat McAfee show. He used to play in the NFL and he has a, a sports talk show. There's a quarterback named CJ Stroud on the show. Well, they're doing a Q and a where people are walking up and they're asking questions like in a line, you know, at some, some sort of, you know, conference or whatever. And Bert and Tom come up and they're like, we have a, we have a question. We have a question. Ah, <laughs> so like, Does baby be a simple? Oh, just a couple 50 year olds with questions. God of man. <laughs> so yeah, so they, <laughs> so, <laughs> so they come up and they're like, oh, we have a question, baby. Please come on, have a question. So then they storm into the thing. So obviously it's a, it's a pre, they've, you know, established they're going to crash the show. But it's like a high end show on, is it on ESPN now? I don't know. They have a it's high ass production. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Pat McAfee's show used to be independently ran, and then uh, I think ESPN like bought it or something. It's okay. it's on some big network now. Um. Anyways, so they crash the show, and then they bring their shitty tequila up, and they're giving it to like the the correspondents of the show, and they're handing them just the bottle, and they're like, "Take a poll." Did you see that? No, I didn't see. I saw Bert yeah, drink so, out of the bottle. I didn't know he's offering. Yeah. Drinks, so the so same like, bottle. One of yeah, the guys dude. in particular has a history of alcoholism, and he like doesn't drink anymore, and he you see him like decline it, and it's like they're just like, how do you, <laughs> yeah, like how do you not 
like that would be the first thing I looked into if I owned a tequila, like or uh, not tequila, but an alcohol company. I would look into like we're crashing this show. I don't want to ha- offer the the alcohol to anyone who doesn't drink because that's like a pretty fucking offensive. It's I don't a pretty know. easy thing to do. You just go on there. You pour, hey, anybody want drinks? I'm pouring yeah, just pour like, some shots. No, he's handing. So Bert starts <laughs> handing the bottle to people and they start. Your waterfall. Waterfall. Yeah, no, literally. Like, like, that's actually what he did. And they start like all taking fucking pulls of it. And then the one guy declines it. And then they go to CJ Stroud, who is like Jesus freak to the max. He's like a like, 21 year old rookie. He's 21. Holy <laughs> spirit. Activate. Oh. So he, he goes up and he like, he's like, he goes like, I don't drink. So then Bert's like, I'm going to be doing some push-ups. I'm doing push-ups. Push- and he starts fucking doing going. push-ups, dude. Like he's a fucking, like he's in I college. It off. I didn't see him do push-ups. Dude, and then Tom oh. Segura is standing up there and he's like, this was his joke. So uh, CJ Shroud's up there and he, you know, like I said, he's extremely Christian. He doesn't want his segment to be promoting alcohol. Yeah. So he's drinking a C4, the energy drink yeah. and like recovery. And he starts, he's like, yeah, C4. He's like plugging C4. And no, they set, C4 time, man. Yeah. And so they set a bottle of Dos Osos or whatever the fuck it's called on the table. And he puts a C4 on top of it, which is a pretty, I don't know oh, if like a lot boss. of, yeah, it's a boss move. A lot of like Christians are very deliberate with their symbology and the things they do. Do you know what I mean? So like mm-hmm. to him, that's like I'm like I'm stamping this out kind of a thing, right? Like I'm fucking stamping this out. And so he stamps Smite it out. Smite the devil with my he, energy he drink. Stamp, he stamps it out. Uh, he blows it up like C4. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one, right? <laughs> um, and so he does that, and then uh, he calls Bert a strong hamster because he's doing push-ups. He's like, the guy's like a strong hamster, and then like that's funny. But then Tom Segura is like, yeah, C four, yeah, that's a recovery drink. Uh, yeah, they they make it, they make it with. He's he's talking awkwardly like that. And he's like, yeah, they they make it with like the the bones of like migrant workers. <laughs> this is the guy from Love on the Spectrum. No, literally, he says <laughs> they. <laughs> he's like, yeah, they, they make it with the uh, the blood of migrant workers. <laughs> yeah, you rule, Tom. Man. Cool, cool fifty guy. year olds, dude. I wish my dad cool was that cool guy, Tom. Damn. Um, so it was just really fucking cringy and and, and just really, really weird, man. Um, damn, yeah, that's, that's a was, great song. It was just weird. Like it's weird know, that stuck out their gut. It's I I I I'm surprised the alcohol grift is still going on. Like after yeah. the pandemic and everything. Well, it's you you would think, you know, The Rock has his tequila. Uh, and some of them do very well, like Sammy Hagar, right? He oh, so his is good, yeah. Cabo he, started, he started a, a tequila company like twenty years ago, though, and that's how he made all of his money. Sammy Hagar is worth like ninety million dollars or something Damn. crazy. I think it's sixty. I think it's sixty. Um, yeah, and then but yeah, George Clooney you know. sold his Casamigos for like a billion dollars, whatever. Yeah, but then after that, everybody just started coming out with like really shit. Like yeah. Kardashians have a fucking shitty tequila it's like really bad i heard the rocks is pretty bad tramana yeah i don't know i i just yeah like uh you, we, there's tiger thick i mean it's oh between god straight lovers Think i mean it's between straight lovers is Little that Christian. the best thing brendan chubb's done though is tiger thick whiskey no it's like horrible i guess yeah but is that the best thing he's done no, okay. which is which is saying a lot <laughs> that's actually. That's like I, yeah, I was kind of trying to do the mental gymnastics of like what you meant. He's like really like, not good at anything. It's yeah, good, no, he's him. yeah. So uh, I don't know, man. It's it's a sad it's day crazy. for the. I don't know. They're it's, they're just their their shit's done. They're like it's the, they're exposed. Yeah, now. Their, their their fandom is it's been dying. It's like because me and you were pretty big Tom. Segura fans and, and Dude, I, I mean huge. you were you were like probably one of the biggest Tom Segura fans like there could possibly be yeah dude your mom's house was one of my favorite <laughs> podcasts like right. pre 2020 right and then yeah. they just started getting really weird with their advertising yeah it just I don't know it, and and it's just so like I really hope that if there comes a time where we're so successful that it's like you know very obvious we're making millions of dollars podcasting or something. I really hope that we have the wherewithal to like pivot or something. Like I don't know, or like not be a cunt, be more of a Dave Attell type of guy and not a fucking. Oh, we're rich now. Now we now we need to talk about our Rolexes. Hello, Mister Izzy. Uh, can I see your Rolex? Yeah, no, that today? shit is like so not cool. Or like like I understand like. You know, like like for a while they did like the birthday gift where they were. Yeah, that that's like, funny because no, but but. They lost me. I think actually the last time I listened to like intentionally listened to like Two Bears One Cave when it's not on uh, the Fighter and the Kids subreddit is uh, a <laughs> great subreddit is uh, 
was when they when they when he bought when Tom when Bert bought Tom uh, a race car. That's what it was. Okay, yeah, that was probably like right when I came out of it too. Yeah, that was, and it was funny because that day I was a substitute teaching and I had a mental breakdown in the classroom. I remember this like really, okay. really, yeah. You have been promoted. You have been promoted. <laughs> like that stuff would be cool if they actually made funny segments with these things and they're just heartfelt and they just take everything seriously. Right. Like every video I've seen Tom, like he has like car videos on YouTube. Of him like, hey, it's me, Tom Segura. I'm at a track and I'm a, I'm a car guy. He just the car guy griff too. But it's and it's, it's terrible. But it's so I don't know, man. It's like really gay. It's like yeah, really, it's, it's like really it's gay. Re it's really fake. Cause like it, it's sort of like like Jay Leno and, and Seinfeld. They have the money to be like ultimate car guys. Like they're billionaires, right? I don't know if Jay Leno's a billionaire, but like I know Seinfeld, Jerry Seinfeld's a billionaire, right? Yeah. And that's a, a level that's a million million dollars. That's a million dollars one million times. So like the cars you can get and the things you can do with like your toys is so infinitely bigger than like something Tom Segura could do, right? Like Tom Segura can afford like maybe, m maybe 10 supercars. Like he's not big enough to have. One of the differences, like, like Jerry Seinfeld and Jay Leno, they're more of like car enthusiasts. Like they can tell you everything about any car, how it works, like just the simplicity of it. Right. And like what you should and shouldn't do. Tom is just like, or just like, Oh uh, yeah, uh, Lamborghini, dude, Porsche. That's what you get when you have this much money. And that's the best thing you could do. Yeah, around which is that's like, that's which is kind of what I'm saying. God is damn. like when you have like Tom Segura couldn't afford. I mean, he could, but like it, it's not. This realistic. is not genuine. It's not realistic for him to be like, oh, I have a. This is a Morgan from 1941. It would make he more like, sense if know? like Bert did food reviews. And Tom was still fat. It would make more sense. What they're doing right now makes no <laughs> sense to anybody. No, it's not. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just like it's a clear grift. And I don't know. I, there's just like some it's just like a loss of, of semblance of like any sort of like identity that is who you are. Like Tom Segura <laughs> is a fat trust fund kid. That's what he is. You would think they would learn something from Brendan Schaub's failure. They're literally doing everything he's already done and failed at. Yes. <laughs> yes, they are becoming. That's so fucking. Oh funny. my god, dude! They just have more money. <sighs> Man, Simple. my shoulder hurts. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. You fell sure. into a hill today. Yeah, yeah. We uh, talked about that one. So, so here's here's some of these. So, I think that a lot of those bad decisions were were from alcohol. Now, listen to this song. I think you're gonna like it. Where my 40, homie? This is, this is Burton Tom. What? I'm full of alcohol. Pretty much. That's like Ying Ying Twinny. They, dude, yeah. Tom and Burt wish they were that good. Yeah. I have this one, too. Fire. I think this is pretty funny. You are now one of my elite employees. <laughs> <laughs> what is that from? I don't know. It's just some black guy. <laughs> it's some black lady from TikTok. And then there's this one. You have been promoted. I just think these are funny. <laughs> Fucking, uh, oh, this is Chris Chan. Homo males are objectionable. Very objectionable. I hate them. Homo. <laughs> <laughs> it's the I hate them at the end. That is so funny. I oh, mean, it's... it's between straight lovers. I mean, it's between <laughs> straight lovers. <laughs> Hey, once again, dude, I'm sorry. I'm, on, I'm like low energy, dude. Yeah, I know. Been... You're not right. You didn't react at all to any of my fucking soundboard. It's I, I, I am stoned, this. but that is not it. You're, I'm just you're this yeah, week dude. I looked at you and I was like, oh, here we go. You're cooked. <laughs> Dude, you would cook it, dude. You would cook it today with fucking oil. I think I like texted you on Tuesday that I was working on my car in the rain. Yeah, and it was like thirty eight degrees yeah. out. I had an umbrella. Like. Yeah, no, dude. It's it's been it's been a, a fucking a, a wild ass week. The fucking uh, I don't know, dude. Your boy has a little bit of a cold. Is is why I'm a little little down. I'm ha I'm a happy boy. I'm just I'm just down. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sorry, everybody. Do you uh do you remember do you remember when my dad had the Camaro? Oh yeah, dude. His black. Uh, I think it was a seventy or seventy-one Camaro, and he had a seventy-one. He had a Ghost Rider like airbrushed on the hood. Yeah, he had like, it was, like yeah. really. I was thinking detailed. about this the other day he, when he, my dad had a a seventy-one Camaro with Ghost Rider airbrushed on the hood with flame pinstripes. <laughs> <laughs> dude, it was. But the pinstripes weren't 
like the the flames it was the paint job was amazing it was well done it it was like an amazing but it is a car that will take you straight to flavor town yeah (laughs) it takes you straight to flavor town dude i was thinking about this week and and he got it he got it signed by uh stan lee really yeah because it was a marvel themed car and like at the time Every week we would go down to uh, the City of Industry. They had this thing called Frank and Sons Collectible Show. It was a Comic Con every week. It was twice a week, it was Wednesdays and Saturdays. And there was this like car club. There was a guy with a Punisher Jeep. There was a guy with like a Venom Mustang. Like there was all these guys. Iron Man. Had these, yeah, like an Iron Man. Yeah, no, literally. And he, my dad was like, he had the best car. He had like the fucking, the, uh, yeah, and he we went to Comic Con one time, and Stanley was there, and he signed, he signed, and then he signed uh, one of my Iron Man comic books too. Damn, do you still have that comic book? No, I don't know. Come no. on, man, why'd you have to get rid of that one? Yeah, because I, I was a drug addict, right? <laughs> I don't. <know. laughs> yeah, oh. fucking. I I haven't had, I've never gotten anything signed by anybody. I have a I have a Pete Rose <laughs> baseball card that uh, you know who Pete Rose is right? yeah. So you know what's funny? The guy who this cheated, is, right? This is a funny story. So Pete Rose signed. I have a baseball card signed by Pete Rose, and then I had like I can't remember what it was. We went to Vegas, I think, because he was doing a signing. My dad loves Pete Rose, and we went and we got a baseball signed by him. And he just like he was there just drinking, and he just had two fucking hookers with him. Well, he was signing like every, all this stuff. He signed a baseball card and like a baseball for me. That's nice. I wonder how yeah. much he was getting paid for that gig. Probably not a lot. He's like, after this, I'm just. He's like, I don't know. He kind of sucks yeah. These hookers. Yeah, I'm gonna, Vegas. I'm gonna have <laughs> fucking sex. I mean, it's between straight lovers. So, uh, you know, was, I don't know. That was that was that was a pretty fun time. Hey, dude, what else regular. have I had signed? I haven't had. I don't think I've had a lot of things signed. I've never. Oh, I have re- a le- I have a letter from Bill Clinton when I was born. <laughs> what? Bill Clinton hand wrote my parents a letter when I was born. What prompted him to do that? I have no idea. My parents have a handwritten letter congratulating them for me being born. What the fuck? Handwritten. Dude, he was, yeah. was he trying to get you on the He's island or something? Me, dude. He was trying to fucking have sex with me. Homo male. <laughs> I got word that you had a pretty blonde I, boy. I, I, I got word. Uh, that's that's more that's more like George H. W. I dude, got Clinton. word that you had a pretty baby blonde boy. No, that's not no, that's like a fucking forties guy. That's kind of how, like, uh, no, how talk. does Clinton talk? No, can I, I wasn't no. saying I didn't say Kennedy, I said <laughs> HW Bush. What the fuck, dude? I went straight Ray, to Kennedy. I'm gonna ask you a question. How many Hi. times do you think you've asked me where, where that, uh, where that one sample, that one, uh, thing on the soundboard came from? I gave up. That's why you have it under control now. You're the fuck. No, captain. the one that was, remember when you kept asking me when he's like, you're not a pregnant bitch, you're thirsty. Oh, yeah. I mean, do you know oh, how many times you asked me that? Do you know like how many three? DMs I got about that? Really? <laughs> Come on. He's like, the fuck is wrong with him? God. Thank you, thank you for uh, for making me feel better about myself. <laughs> no, dude, you've been doing it's you've been doing good, dude. But uh, uh, that shit's catchy. That shit's really catchy. Um, but you know, it's it's one of those weeks where. You have it's to one just. One of those weeks. It's just one of those weeks. Holy Spirit activated. It's just one of those weeks. Uh, we need to do like a Holy Spirit seance. It's been one of those types. Is that is there a thing like that? Yeah. You yeah. you just kind of pray. You just kind of pray. Do you want me to summon a? Do you want me to summon an angel right now? What are you talking? Do you want me to? Summon, yeah. Do what you do you mean? Do no. an angel? Do you want me to actually do it? There's a secret prayer that well, I know. It's a secret and you know it. What because other secrets? I, because I because it was it was handed down to me. In scripture, no, it's just it's like a secret prayer. How is not, it? Not, not a lot of people know about it. Oh, it was like spoken to you. It's a Catholic Catholic prayer. Oh, well, I'm not Catholic, so I don't know if it's gonna All work. All right, well, I'll say, I'll say it. Okay, let's angel go. of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here every this day, be on my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. There's now angel here. All right, angel summoned. So we've summoned an angel. Ah! <laughs> I feel better. You do, yeah. But I feel like when you're just talking very slow like that, I start to just breathe. That's how slower you want me to talk. Always talk like, like an like AI. The Luciferian. <laughs> don't say it. Don't say the name. Don't say the name. We're on to you. <laughs> so, what what is the difference between a Luciferian and like a Malachian? Uh, I know we've probably gone over this, but uh, I forget. Sorry, everybody. One's a faggot and one's an. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Well, they both suck, but like, no. Uh, does one have like bad intent. So okay. So 
Here, you asked what a Malachian? Like, what's or, the difference so between the two? Malachian, okay, so Mo- Moloch worship is actually, I, I learned recently, it's not real. So Moloch is a misinterpretation of Baal. So Moloch was a was a type of sacrifice in the Old Testament times where people would sacrifice their firstborn son to Yahweh. So that's what Moloch is. Okay. So it's a it's the name, it's the proper name for a type of sacrifice. Baal, okay, Baal is the Old Testament Canaanite deity that people would also sacrifice their kids to and they would sacrifice children to. Luciferians are so Satan is, you know, is the devil, right? Yeah, Lucifer. There's different, just like how there's the Trinity, right? With the Christian God, Father, Son, and uh, the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, activate. Um, there is different iterations of Satan, right? So it's like there's Lucifer, there's Baal. Okay. Okay, they're different sort of things. But Lucifer is the light bringer, and he is sort of like... um. The way that it was described by that guy, like what what is his name? Like Holy Lotus of Light or whatever, Lotus Lotus of Light guy from Tinfoil. Oh Island. yeah, Tinfoil. Like, so Lucifer really Lucifer familiar. represents more so the angel that fell, the fallen angel okay. that was kicked, that was cast out of heaven in the Book of Enoch. So um, Lucifer was the head musician of God's angels, and he was like his like most beautiful angel, right? But he tried to overthrow God because he thought he was better than God. And he got jealous of God's love of humans. And he would and you know, God instructed the angels and he said, You need to love humans as much as you love me, because I love them as much as uh I should be loved. And and then he's like, No, I love you more than I love humans. And God said, No, you have to love them as much as me. And then that's but that's a trick. So Lucifer is like the king of lies, like the prince of lies. He's like the ultimate liar. He was like the uh the snake in the garden, but Lucifer represents more of like, like where's Baal and like Moloch stuff because Molochian, Molochian stuff became an egregore, right? Of like, it's like people, a subculture. No, okay, <laughs> no. Like, so, you know, remember what we talked about egregores where it's like, if you think something enough, it becomes an actual thing. Okay. Right. So like all yeah. the, like, like when you can like feel the tension of like two football teams, like everybody's rooting for a team. So the spirit of the team becomes real. Right. Because it's, yeah. it, it's sort of like that. So people thought Moloch was an entity. So it sort of became one. Right. And kind of like how we have different like versions of Christianity. Yeah. It, it's just like, so the, they're all fucking evil though. Yeah. Just hang on. Just the belief in it is what, made it real. So Lucifer represents like the worship of self and like the, the almost the inverse of Christ in a good way. So like people think that like, cause they call Lucifer quote unquote, the morning star. It's like a bunch of like mistranslations and all this shit, but it's like Lu- Luciferians are super into like, like transhumanism, a lot of them are like transhumanists. Like like Elon Musk is a great example of someone who's probably a Luciferian, where he's like super about himself, and like the tech technology is gonna make me a better human, and I need to be a better this. It's very individualistic, like self propelling. I get that self worship, very narcissist, ego egoistic, like egoic kind of bullshit. Yeah. But then where does like the black capes and like the pentagrams and shit come in? So that's like just Satanism. So that's like that's like Satanists who like LARP. That's like LARPing Satanism. Oh, they're just being gay. They're like being super gay. Yeah. Like I'm the church of Satan and I, and I paint my fingernails black because I'm, I'm so fucking dark. I'm so dark. Homo <laughs> males. It's like how normal people, you can just like anime, but then the other people are like, Ooh, ooh I love anime yeah, all the yeah, time yeah, and yeah, only yeah, anime. Yeah. yeah it, how about you? Yeah. Or, or, or it's like, even like it goes with anything. It's like Christians, like there's some Christians who are like so unbearable. It's like, you just be like, you don't have to always be exuding this. So don't be selfish, because then you're just a Luciferian, basically. Yeah, and, and really, like, no, I mean, kind of, like, you, like the you, mega church. You, you can be like unknowingly, yeah, like they're like, like, yeah, but I'm I'm talking about people who like actually actively worship Lucifer. Yeah, dude, there's people that like, like what, that, is, like, like <laughs> the fucking like tarot cards and that shit, like the people yeah, that they do just, that, like, like actively. Uh, <laughs> what do they do? Like, 
<laughs> Hold on, let me get my cape for this. Let yeah, me get my cape for this yeah, card reading. I don't know, dude. Uh, I don't. I don't. I I'm just, just trying to figure it out, dude. I, I just, just seems all goofy to me. I mean, it's it's like people's it's people's thing, but it, like yeah. it, it diametrically opposes the things I believe because it's, um, you know, I even even in this it's like goes directly against what even you in this ego. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. I could finish. <laughs> Even in this pursuit of like trying to be like an artist who makes money off of doing art, which is like a pretty, you know, egocentric endeavor, I guess. Um, I like try to be helpful and like not make it all about me. Like, I don't know, but, but like, it's just, I don't know. It, it just completely opposes uh, my ideals. I think that's how people have like successful charities all the time. They just get people by the guilt and they're like, you're a selfish person. Donate a thousand dollars a month and everything's fine. Right. We should start a church. We've talked about this so many times. No, but like, let's go. Yeah. We've already, we've already discussed this. Um, God damn. (laughs) Shut me down. Well, I'm not shutting you down. down. Like, what would you, what would you call your religion, your church? What would your church be called? Uh, it, I, it would be called the Couch Philosopher Podcast. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Yeah, we we talked literally last episode about me starting a five hundred one c three, yeah, filing but, a five hundred one c three and and becoming a church. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I was just asking what the church would fucking be called. Jeez, god damn, god damn. Right, but like it would be like if we if we talked about like if if we like if next week we talked about Tom and Bird again. No, you just extrapolate on it. It's just, if it's different, I guess. I'm not like repeating myself. What would you much. call your church? The church, the church of rep- repetition. Like, if you want to get followers Holy Spirit, in, activate. Oh. the church of of now, and you get a bunch of boomers going there. They're so like Joey D- Joey Diaz's podcast, the church of what's happening now. <laughs> sure, <laughs> so it's called. This latest show is called well, with more words added, I guess. The church of now, the church of <laughs> I would call it the church of now. <laughs> oh, okay, not the ch- okay. Keep going. What yeah, and that promote? way you what get a bunch. What would you promote? Now, you just be like, dude, we got to move forward with everything. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> you get, you got to get the boomers. They, they're the ones with the money. You got to get them to donate their house to you. you start a cult. Right. Get the boomers in. You got to get a boomer cult because that's who has the money. It's not us. It's not Gen X. It's not. We got to get the money. Yeah, I, I wonder how this whole thing is going to pan out. Like, like. The whole money thing, like with everybody, like it just seems like it get worse. It just seems like everybody's like broke, right? And like this shit's fucked, right? It's funny because every time you mention that, there's always someone, usually on the internet, they're like, "There's more millionaires than there ever has been." It's like, well, there's more poor and more rich than there ever has been. That means there's like yeah, the middle the, shrinking. Like, yeah, like there there being more millionaires doesn't. <laughs> that's not what we're talking about. <laughs> like that's not what I'm talking about at all. Yeah, there's uh, we have the most young millionaire, like under twenty three millionaires ever. Yeah, but how like, many? That's of them, not how good. many of them are people who started their own business and like made it themselves. Like none of them, and five of them. I think ten. most of them are just losing their money to richer people, like through crypto and all these different schemes because they're fucking yeah, young know. kids. Like how many young YouTubers have been like taken over by like, pretty much like the the like Doctor like Suge Knight of YouTube, just rolling I don't, people. What do you mean? Just like. Snatching up deals, being like, you're on my team now. Now you just I think that's just like how it works in general. I wonder who the Suge Knight of YouTube is. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Mr. Beast? I don't know. No, he's um, not black enough. Suge Knight was black. Oh, okay. <laughs> who the black guy of YouTube is? KSI? No, the, the controller. Oh, I know who it is. Who? It's, it's, a, it's more than one person. That's they dig tunnels. Who is it? It's the tunnel diggers. That's who owns YouTube. That's the Suge Knight of YouTube. Pretty much. <laughs> it's got to be right. Yeah. God, you are just <laughs> giving me nothing. Help I just, me. I I don't I don't know what where this go- I don't know where this is going. I'm just so like have to go anymore. I'm so aghast. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Okay. I just I I'm I'm what what else is there? Oh my god, this is a rough one. Yeah. I told you I had low energy, man. <laughs> yeah, well that doesn't help when we have to get a show done. 
I know you're like, don't worry, I got you. Like, well, I can't right. just like talk. To, I I can't just talk to myself the whole time. Yeah, I know. And like, when I I've been talking, you're like, all right. Well, because <laughs> like okay. Because I just don't like. I'm not gonna just repeat the th- things repeating. we talk Have we about. We talked about Suge Knight and YouTube before. How, the Suge Knight of you, and then I said, "Well, here's the thing." I said something. You said, "No, he's not a black <laughs> you're guy." You're just silently and then you're like, laughing at diggers. me because I don't know. I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Like you can't you, just because you're like low energy. You don't have notes. You have nothing. I have notes, but like you said, well, let's you talk, got. Let's talk about your notes. Go bring your notes out. I didn't grab them. I'll go grab them. Come on. <laughs> you didn't bring your notes. I have my notes in my backpack. I didn't bring them for this. Do you want to pause? I guess if we're gonna need the fucking notes. I don't hear. We'll we'll look at my. I just <laughs> dude, pause the episode. Pause I'm, it. No, I'm not pausing it now. Let me get my notes, man. Okay, we'll pause it. <laughs> and we're back. Crane's got his notes. I got my notes. You have your notes? I, I feel hot. No, I don't have my notes. I feel like my mic's hot, but I don't fine. have my notes. It's fine. I'll just talk low because I'm low energy any, anyway, baby. <laughs> I just noticed something. What? Uh, Oh, you stepped on it when you stepped on it when you would left the lights off. You slammed your foot on the. You stomped slammed on it. My foot. You stomped on it in anger. You're so angry. You stomped. On I should. It I should stomp it. something on, out of fucking anger, dude. Yeah, you should. This week's gotten me, dude. <laughs> you should. Everything's you should. broken. So I started looking for new cars. Uh huh. I don't even have money for a new car, and I'm looking for new cars because <laughs> all mine are broken. Right. We talked about. We talked about this. So the problem is my price range gets very, very low. You know what pops up? Apparently when you look up like <laughs> Forerunner or Toyota, what? a Nazi memorabilia. <laughs> Isn't that illegal to sell? Especially on Facebook? I think it is. I or think offer, there's Nazi memorabilia everywhere, dude. It's but, all boomers like, I got this Nazi helmet. Yeah, you sent me a picture of the fucking SS helmet. It was nuts. Dude, that's like one of like 25 pictures Wait, in my vicinity. So wait, is <laughs> selling Nazi memorabilia illegal or not? That's what I've heard. That's one of the like. It's are like you a, ever gonna look that up? I'm pretty sure it's not. I've seen Nazi stuff in uh, pawn shops. Dude, if it's not illegal, <laughs> they have some. It's kind of cool stuff to have. <laughs> like <laughs> the helmet was fucking sick. It was like two grand. Like go. Here's a fun thing to do. If you have OfferUp or Facebook Marketplace, and Facebook is better because the more boomers have it, uh huh. So they're like, oh, yeah, yeah. I'll post it to my friends. That ha- we all collect Nazi memorabilia. Yeah. The Nazi exchange. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's fucking. The insane. cool thing that also pops up is um, it says like not Nazi memorabilia, and it's like old Indian stuff, and it's like this is actually the symbol of peace. This oh, is the, a Nazi. Oh, memorabilia. so it's like, like the fucking hippie hippie ladies trying to sell the what is it called when it's the other way? It's like a I don't know. It has like M or it has something. Like points on it. Yeah, it looks. I don't know. It's some the points don't really do much. Yeah. I, wait. Let me look at. Let me the look at what it's called. I want to look at what it's called. <laughs> If, you should, dude. We should start. We should start inquiring. Like what? I, oh, it's just called the swastika. <laughs> Either way, both swastikas. Yeah. Yes. Um, I feel like I the Hitler one should be a different name. That's not fair. No, it's just the swastika. That's so funny. I don't know. It's so funny, dude. The swastika is an important Hindu symbol. The swastika symbol is commonly used before <laughs> entrances or on doorways of homes or temples <laughs> to mark the starting page of. Financial statements and, and mandalas constructed for rituals such as weddings or welcoming a newborn. It's a financial marking. Yeah, <laughs> that's not good. That's not good. That fucking rocks, dude. I can see how that got kind of carried away with. The yeah, the group. fucking. So, <laughs> is it illegal? I need to know if it's illegal. To Hell yeah, Nazis. To sell or own, Nazi. I don't think it. It can't be right. There's no way. I've just heard. I think I've. I remember when um like where would you buy like an actual like Nazi f- like patch or flag like just on, like, yeah Facebook I don't know <laughs> it's fucking crazy as fuck it's like fucking insane dude I love it it's such a wild thing to come across when you're looking for a Toyota so you just Tacoma. so what what kind of car were you looking for a Toyota Tacoma just just a truck yeah and they're and a Nazi helmet <laughs> popped up well I put like the price minimum at like fifteen hundred which is way too low for a truck you're gonna get like yeah. a piece of shit yeah yeah done that. you're gonna get like a Datsun or some yeah, shit yeah I'm like hold on why is there a helmet so that's Whoa. so fucking crazy so wait th- there was what else what other items are on there it just says are not prohibited to have 
So no, it's not illegal. I don't think it's illegal to own it. Nice. So there's this whole Nazi That's exchange so we don't know about. So fucking sick, dude. Yeah, there was like a. Uh, I sent a picture of it to my girlfriend. I was at. Uh, I was at a fucking pawn shop in Huntington Beach and there's a Nazi SS officer's hat. And it was like, and I sent a picture of it. She's like, don't you dare get it. It was like $400. <laughs> dude, they look real. <laughs> it's fucking crazy, dude. Yeah, so I don't know what list I'm on for looking all my like. Yeah, you're definitely, we're probably on a domestic, actually. Just search Nazi. Actually, and we're, 100, we're actually 100% on a domestic terrorist list. Like, dude, I know for a fact we are. All I want is this country to succeed. Yeah. They, have, they have me on the wrong list. No, man. dude. Yeah, no. We are definitely on a fucking list. Yeah, no, that's... So, So wait, yeah. I was... Because I was like... I was texting. I was like, why don't you just get like a newer... Like a newer car... Like my year. Like, like my, car. my Yeah, like my car payment's not crazy at all. My yeah. car payment's like 250 a month. When did you get your car? Like what year? 2021. Okay, so that's probably like right when like car prices started like skyrocketing. Dude, car car prices are just super expensive. And so how you, much would my car be worth now? How many miles? Almost like two hundred thousand. And it's a two thousand thirteen. Yes. Because of the mileage, like it'll probably be like seven grand. Yeah, because I got it for ten. Okay. Yeah, dude, that like the I need a truck for like utility purposes. Yeah. And I want a reliable one, so you just immediately go to toyota yeah yeah everything is bulletproof toyota tacomas are like one of the most expensive fucking Probably reselling like, yeah, cars like what, ever like for like for a 2013 is like what 20 grand yeah if you want an all-wheel drive 2013 it'll be like almost 30 sometimes yeah that's for like a low insane, mileage you're like dude. what is happening that's so fucking crazy and you can't if you're gonna get a used like i'm gonna get a used car because they're cheaper yeah but used car loans are a little higher in like yeah dude so right. i'm just like i'm just gonna drive one of the cars I have until it's like fucking done, and then I'm gonna sell it to somebody as it's a great car to own. Yeah, well, it's like, <laughs> well, it's already like going down, like it's already going down, like because well, it died twice this week, dude. Well, no, okay, so that's how we got to fucking the Nazi talk, dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but like it's it's very like if you fix if you work on cars, it's very like understandable. Like so, my radiator went out. All right, okay. fix the radiator. It's like I fixed the radiator, went to car the next, uh, went to car, went to work the next day. Uh-huh. It was like 80 miles round trip in traffic. Yeah. Gonna go to work the next day. Hit black ice. Do you slip? In the car. Oh, yeah, you truck. slid? I slid about 100 feet. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, dude. Why didn't you tell me about that? Because it's a long text. I can't text that much. Dude, dude so much I, hit, I hit black ice and slid 100 feet. So I That's hit black up. ice three separate times. Because like, the, What? There's a truck that puts like this red yeah, fan yeah, yeah yeah he didn't do it this morning dude damn so this, that was today no this was um thursday thursday okay so i slid off the road and i ran over like a like a three by three not a big but a tree branch with like branches yeah, connected. yeah, yeah. And i'm like okay no body to everything's fucking fine yeah so i keep going and then my temperature just starts going all kinds of crazy fucking hell dude and i'm like oh shit so it's just a coolant line that busted fucking tree branch yeah, that's fucking... It's just bad luck. <laughs> yeah, no, that's just, like, shitty. Yeah, and the weather's been, like, super fucked. The weather's been fucked. It's cold as fuck up here, too. Yeah, dude, I'm I'm over it. I like cold weather, but I'm, this is the, the time of the season where I'm over it, where it's, like... Yeah, it's, like, almost spring, but Everything's it's, frozen in the yeah, morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. I couldn't open my car door. Yeah. I literally had to, like, almost break the handle. Yeah. It was fucking wild. Well, dude, so... <laughs> it's so fucking crazy, dude. You hit black eyes, fucking Nazi fucking <laughs> memorabilia. Dude, I got hit with a fucking we're doing hyper sigil. And uh Oh, you're making moves. Yeah, we've we ha- we've been having these writing fucking conferences with like the we have a Emmy nominated writer and uh he's Killer Mike? Yeah, it's Killer Mike, yeah. No, and Tanner just like scheduled like a meeting for us to have that like and like I didn't know about it. Like a Zoom meeting? No, like a phone call. But okay. like the phone calls are like three hours, dude. It's not less. Dude. It's like a writing phone call. So it's like a business call. Yeah, yeah, that shit sucks. I had two of them this week, and like, I had yesterday, dude. I had an interview. The day before, I had an interview. I've been editing our episodes all week. Like, dude, I've been going nonstop and then i'm like oh cool it's friday i'm fucking chilling and then tanner's like yeah we have that phone call at Shit. eight o'clock i'm just like a.m my time no p- <laughs> yeah no and and so like 
I, I was just on it for an hour and like, thank God, dude, because I needed to like chill. And he's he's like, he texted me at like like midnight. He's like, yeah, the call was like three and a half hours. Damn, how much? I mean, I, I know there's plenty of material to go over in three hours, but damn. No, dude, but it's just like, I I get like socially fucking exhausted. I get like over talking so quick. And it's just fucking, you know, a bunch of autists like, like, oh, this Holy is so spirit. funny. Ah. This is the funniest thing ever. And it's just like, oh, my God. It's not that funny. I mean, it is. Our shit is like really funny. Um, yeah, but in like a bunch of great ideas, you're going to have some really shitty, terrible ideas. It's yeah, like, but even even like we've already gone, like we've already cut out all the shitty ideas. But like, just like, it's like exhausting being like, 